Jeff has prepared, been preparing this segment all week long. It is T-Mobile, who's in your faves? This is the portion of the Friday Night Game Time show where Steve Smith, former NBA All-Star, does like a Letterman-style top five list. You know what I'm saying? And this week, what he's got going, he doesn't have jokes for you or sarcasm or the dry wit that has made David Letterman famous. What he does have is the five teams that will not, not make the playoffs. In my opinion, we're starting off right now, Cheryl and Rick, with the teams that will not make the playoffs. Yep. And I'm going to see if you guys agree or disagree. Number five is the Indiana Pacers. Reason why? Fat man, Danny Granger, without your warrior, and also throw in Mike Dunleavy, and they're 7 and 24 on the road. They can't get it done. I think they had an outside chance. We were talking about it, Rick, that they might make it, but when Danny Granger went down, the heart and soul of the team, I don't think they can make it. Even what type of run they can get on Troy Murphy's playing well. All these guys are playing well, but without that guy, Danny Granger, I don't think the Indiana Pacers have a chance to make the playoffs. Even with them, they don't play any defense. They can't stop anybody. They were my pick for the eight before Granger got yes, hurt. Yes, I was right I with you. Now let's go to number four. We're looking at the New York Knicks. And, yes, they started off, but I just think right now when you look at the New York Knicks, yes, they play offense. Yes, Nate Robinson's on a roll. They're winning games here and there. And Al Harrington playing well. But I think right now is if any of these guys go down to playing normal, Nate Robinson average and just say 18, Al Harrington numbers drop to whatever they may be because those guys are playing well. They cannot get enough stops, and they don't have enough guys with depth to be able to sustain, and that's the reason why I'm saying the Knicks are not making the playoffs. Okay. Number three, the Milwaukee Bucks. <laughs> Scott Skiles, my Spartans, I thought they were in, but Andrew Bogut out, and definitely Michael Red out for the season. Richard Jefferson, the next guy, love to see him step up. He's just playing so-so, not bad, but so-so. They need him to be an all-star right now with those guys out. But they have two guys on their team that I like, Raymond Sessions and Charlie V. He's on my all herky turkey team. Let me ask you this. If they had Bogut and Red, would would this be flip-flopped? Would the Bucs be in the playoffs, in your opinion? I'd say they have the strongest position to back in the playoffs. Yes, I think they're definitely an eighth, and it's it's a solid eight. But right now, they don't have those guys. There's too much on these guys coming off the bench. They play well. They play hard. Those guys are playing starters minutes now. Now they don't have any guys backing those guys up. Number two. It's Kevin's Bulls. Come on, man. Chicago Bulls. Rick, you're not liking this. The reason why is they don't finish games. They have a lot of trouble finishing games. And I think right now it's a log jam. I love when teams have a lot of depth. But when you have four guys that can start in the backcourt, Rose, Gordon, Heinrich, and John Salmons, how do you get that time for them? And I think that's the biggest thing for Vinny Del Negro and that staff at the short period of time where guys are out there playing and they don't really have those Nocioni dirty work guys anymore, True. so I don't think they're making it. And number one, the Phoenix Suns. It's too much controversy. What style you're playing? No Amari Stoudemire. Steve Nash is out. Do we run? Do we slow it down? Oh, we run now. They they fired Terry Porter. Yeah, we run, run, run. And now we play the great teams. We can't we can't get stops. And we can't score. Shaquille O'Neal playing well. Grant Hill, love all that the guys on that team. But I think they missed the playoffs. And reason why, I was down on Houston without Tracy McGrady and Rayford. But right now, are on our test, and the Houston Rockets are going up. And I see the Phoenix Suns having trouble at the end of the year getting into the playoffs.